I actually flew in and out of Ronnie Reagan Airport this year on a propeller plane. It was like a Boeing 7. <laughs> so, it's, a, it's a real trick for me to get on, on a tiny plane like that. I have a horrible fear of flying. I get on the plane, I fasten my seatbelt, and I do not unbuckle it for the duration of the flight. Because if the plane is gonna plummet six and a half miles out of the sky, that little strip of nylon might save my sorry ass. <laughs> I refuse to go to the bathroom on an airplane because if I'm gonna die in a cartwheeling ball of flames, it is not gonna be in a flying outhouse with my pants around my ankles. <laughs> Sit in my seat and read the emergency information card over and over. They can get rid of page three. That's the water landing section. <laughs> there is no useful information there. At the top, they show you how to use your seat bottom cushion as a flotation device. I don't wanna present myself as a genius, but if I am drowning and something is floating, I will figure out how to operate it. Seat bottom cushions, suitcase, dead pilot. I will save myself. I will not need Leonardo DiCaprio to help me. <laughs> then they show you how to exit in the event of a water landing. I think we've seen exactly how likely they are to be able to land one of these puppies in the water. I'm pretty sure I'll be exiting as I land. <laughs> But they got the picture, they got the man. <laughs> Jumping calmly out onto the escape slide. <laughs> Always a man. There's a woman waiting patiently to go next. Always a woman. Because it's ladies first until the plane falls out of the sky. <laughs> I used to be so scared to fly that my friends would have to take me to the airport and convince me to get on the plane. My friends can talk me into anything. Friends are weird, huh? A friend is a present you give yourself. <laughs> my friends talk me into wearing a skirt on a job interview. Go ahead and picture that for yourselves. This is a comedy show. I don't want you to miss out on anything. I put on a skirt, I look like an old guy wandering around a steam room. <laughs> That's if I put the thing on right. Okay, what the women in the audience are gonna know about skirts, and statistically several of the men, <laughs> is that inside of the waistband of the skirt are these two loops of fabric that you use to hang the skirt up so that when you wear it, it hangs neatly, right? Where was I when this information was being handed out? <laughs> the day for the job interview rolls around, I pull my skirt down off the shelf, unfurl it, put it on, and now I'm trying to figure out what role in my ensemble these two ribbons of fabric play. <laughs> Is it a belt? There's no clasp, it must be a bow, I'll just tie it. It's not long enough. The hell would sell me a skirt with a bow that's not damn long. All right, fine, now I got the skirt up here. I got these things over my shoulders. Getting ready to go to a job interview wearing skirt and hosen. like the Von Trapp family job applicant. <laughs> I made it from curtains, do I get the position? <laughs> I didn't wear the pantyhose. I mean, I made it certain 
sacrifice. I bought foundation and used it to cover up my tattoo, but the pantyhose just makes my leg hair look real funny. Okay, I think I've probably pretty much answered everyone's questions at this point. I didn't get the job. What was I gonna tell you guys? I've been so spacey today. I was talking to this friend of mine on the phone and I said, you know, I've been feeling really spaced out. And she said, well, Mercury is in retrograde. <laughs> oh, that's the problem. <laughs> Couldn't be all that pot I smoked. <laughs> yes, the things you do in high school will affect you for the rest of your life. I had friends in high school that used to do speed. Actually, they used to take bi diet pills, cheap speed. And uh, they talked me into trying it one time. They're like, you won't want to eat anything. It didn't have that effect on me at all. I just <laughs> ate really fast. <laughs> I saw this guy on a Harley Davidson today. I was sitting behind him on a stoplight, at a stoplight and uh, it was one of those Harleys where the driver's seat and the passenger seat are separate. I could tell you the name of the model if I was just a little bit butcher. <laughs> Very nice, here we have a group of people who can recognize the word butcher as an adjective. <laughs> she cuts her meat with a motorcycle? Let's move on. So there's the driver's seat, and then the passenger seat is this uh, small rectangular pad affixed to the rear fender of the motorcycle and popularly referred to as a bitch seat. Lovely. <laughs> and this motorcycle didn't have a passenger seat, and I, the first thing I thought was, wow, that bike doesn't have a bitch seat. And then I was like, you know what, Sabrina? Don't even think that, because it is so misogynist, and if you think it, you will say it, and when you say it, you'll be sorry you ever thought it. And then I looked, the guy's got a sticker on the back of his helmet, and it says, if you can read this, the bitch fell off. 